Hello, Metal Gear Solid gamers. I am here with key card number two. This is episode two of Metal Gear. One thing that I found very interesting about this game that I did not know was that the saving... Hold on, I gotta focus. Oh gosh, if I did that any slower, that, that camera would have spotted me. So one thing that I find interesting about this game... Well, it's not really interesting, it's more aggravating, but... The game does not really actually save. Like, if you save the game, it doesn't really save your progress. It just saves your progress up until the last elevator ride, I guess. Which, for me, was um, before I got the key card too. So I had to play up until... Oh, crap. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Run! Okay, we're good. Oh, I guess that didn't clear the alert face. So, basically... Okay, I can't carry anymore. Basically, I had to go back and get the key card number two before I recorded this, which was a little disappointing. The only way is if I uh, equip the ration so I don't die and then take these guards out. It would be faster to shoot them. Hold on. There you go. It's surprising to me that that didn't clear the the alert phase. By the way, this this door up here should open with keycard too. Okay, so yeah, this is what we were looking for: the remote control missile. So the remote control missile is going to be. I do not understand. Is it because I was shooting a loud like pistol? Is that the problem? Yeah, I guess that was the issue. Okay, well I got rationed from that, now I have three. Um, right, so my next objective would be to get to the, um, there's a particular room on floor three that has uh, something that you need the remote control missile for. I'll show you that uh, in a minute here, I just gotta get past this guard. Okay, so, yeah, I, I gotta deal with this room again. This, yeah, this game does have a lot of backtracking. I think that's just because it's such an older game, so they couldn't actually fit that much into the game. So in order to, you know, put some padding on it, they just had a lot of backtracking. Typical experience of, like, an NES game. Although this one is MX, the MSX version. Okay, so if I go north, here we are. So let's talk to Big Boss and he'll tell us what's going on. <clears throat> this is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. In order to turn off the juice, you'll have to destroy the electrical power panel. You need an RC missile. Schneider, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you where to get one. Over. Alright, so I don't need Schneider's help. I already knew where it was. So you actually have to control this with the arrow keys. And you gotta hit that switch. And then that turns the electrical panel off. Now I have to consult my walkthrough, because I don't remember... It says, use the missiles to disrupt the electrical f uh, el electrical floor and continue on to B4. However, it's more efficient to pass through the gas-filled room. Um, okay, I don't know what they're saying, but I'm just going to go north because I think that's what it's saying to do. Okay. Okay, now I need to know where to go. In this room, uh, they will each walk down the opposite sides of the cell in the middle of the room. Run east and prepare card two. Okay, so once I go inside this door, there's going to be guys already ready to ambush me. Wait, what? This, am I in the wrong place? Go east to, to A2. Hold on, let me check the diagram here. Oh, no, that's totally, totally wrong. So I would have to go north, and then west, and then west. And I think I know where this is going. They want me to get the, um... Well, let me try key card one. Just to see what's in here. They want me to get the submachine gun. Oh, look, we have a hostage. Thank you for helping me. Diane from the Resistance will provide support on frequency 120.33. 
oops, <laughs> he said Diane should have a lot of information about the enemy. Okay, so I'm going to immediately run up here so the guard doesn't spot me. And then you get these two guys. And, okay. So this is a tricky... Oh, how did they see me? Was it the guy up top? Okay, equip ration. Okay. Ah, don't get hit by the Pac-Man dots. Okay, so I think it's actually... If I am not mistaken... I wish they would show you where the guards are on the map. That would help you, but... If I'm not mistaken, this room... No. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's inside of this room. Which requires keycard 2. And yes, they are already aware... Oh my gosh. But apparently if you kill all of them... Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? I do not want to die. Oh, the gun doesn't even shoot that far. Hold on, wait. I have an idea. Yeah, buddy! Oh, almost died doing that. Alright, there you go. You get the suppressor. Wow, that was ridiculous. I almost died. Okay, so then I'm assuming that in the next room, with keycard 1, according to the map here, you'll get the submachine gun. Nice! Oh, that's a grenade launcher. <laughs> it looks like a submachine gun. Okay, so now I have the accessory, and I can press this... Can be fitted with the suppressor. Well, how, how is that possible? Oh, it, it just it just makes the sound automatically quiet. Okay, fair enough. I hope those, those guys are going to respawn, aren't they? Oh, no, apparently not. Okay. Well, anyway, now that I have that... What else do I need? Okay. Proceed to the east door, A3, with card 2. Huh. Yeah, okay, so now it's saying get the cardboard box, and I actually know where that's at, because I looked at the map. So I'm just going to wait for this guy to spin around. I Hopefully he doesn't come down this way. Oh, okay, I guess I'll have to... Yeah, because I just knew... Ugh, dude, come on. Worst timing ever. Okay. Guess we're fighting again. Wow, I almost died from that. It's almost like better to take them all out at once, because they can respawn if there's... Only one on the screen or something. Okay. Out of rations, so I have to be extremely careful. Okay, let me prepare card two. Get in there! Alright, so this is the cardboard box. I don't even think you can beat the game without it. Basically what it does is, as long as you're standing still, a camera cannot detect you. So, excuse me. Let's keep reading this. Collect it and exit the room. The box will conceal you from the enemy and... Oh, enemy too. And camera detection, but only as long as you hold still while you're being observed. Avoid being detected by guards and exit the east... The, exit east of room A4. From there, immediately head south to room B4 through the right passage. Okay. So it's saying... Exit. Oh, crap. Things are spooky. Yeah, it works, man. Just gotta be careful about it. Oh my gosh, I immediately moved. No! That's not fair! Oh, hopefully I don't die. Okay, so it's saying go down and then go right. Through the narrow passage to A4. I don't understand there's no narrow passage there unless oh okay it's the hostage room we already talked to him once again slipping past the guards and reaching the elevator behind them looks a lot more difficult than it actually is okay so it's saying go to the elevator 
but return to the first floor. Hopefully I can do that without dying. Run! Oh my gosh, I'm terrified right now. Help! No, 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 I'm about to die. Oh, I made it, I made it, holy crap. Yeah, so that R is rooftop axis. I might just die here, but at least I have the game saved because I'm in an elevator. That's the presumption. So, we were on floor three, so this would be floor two, and then this would be floor one. Okay, let me just pause really quick. And now the next section of this walkthrough is talking about floor one. Okay. So this is actually part two. You should be returning to this floor after you explored the third floor and gathered card two. When you arrive back on the first floor, be careful not to get noticed by the guards. Approach the right guard and punch him out and then continue south to B4. Hopefully there's a ration nearby because I am inches away from dying. Oh my gosh, there's cameras everywhere. Luckily we have the box. Okay, let's see. Three cameras make it impossible to stay hidden. The only surefire way to guarantee your safety is to make use of the cardboard box that you collected from the third floor. Hop into the blind spot of the top right camera behind some crates and activate the box. Remain still as the left camera after it passes. Oh my gosh. You'll find... Uh, okay, and then it says... Activate card two and approach the door on the left. You'll find another prisoner inside. Okay. All right, so you basically need to sit right there with the cardboard box until the left one passes. And then you go down, equip card two, run! Oh, that camera almost saw me. All right, so thank you for saving me. That member of Foxhound, Gray Fox, he's being held in a secret cell. Thank you for that information. So, exit the room and head south to room C4 using the box. Dude, I don't know if I can do this. I will try my best. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, please. Okay. Two guards patrol this room while the other circles around. Sneak up to them and punch them out, then approach D3 to the west. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm dead. Is this card is this a card two? Door? I'm probably gonna die before I get in there. But try no <laughs> Darn it. Failure. Okay, let's see where Oh yeah, that's what I thought. We gotta do all that again. Whatever. But with like no health. That's what I think is dumb about it. If I could go and quickly get to the place where there's rations, maybe this would be easier. Yeah, no. If you don't like immediately start out by running, you're just not going to make it. Okay. I cannot believe that camera did not see me. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Now is the opportunity to use card two. Talk to the guy. Keep saying Gray Fox is being held in a cell. go down punch this guy immediately do not let him walk around oh my gosh <laughs> the guy turned but I was not on the same vector as him that is incredible okay so they said go to the door west I'm assuming it's this one. Oh no there's a hostage here though it says thanks for helping me oh pfft. I didn't even get to read that, and then I'll never get to read it again. 
Um, okay. It says go to D3. Now I'm a little confused. Oh, okay. I was supposed to go to the floor underneath. I'm actually glad that I ranked up, because now I got my health back, and I get more health now. So, that's a nice little bonus. Don't turn around, guard. No, oh, how did he turn around? Oh, I don't even have anything. I guess we're, we're relying on our one ration. Uh. Go away. No. He's trying to shoot me while I'm punching the other guy. Come over here. You're scared. Don't want to fight me. Yeah, there you go. Got to play into their ego. Okay. So it says go west of this room. Don't move. Take him away. Well, I'm being called by boss. This is big boss. Infiltration accomplished. Find the cell where they're holding Gray Fox. Check the walls. Over. Okay, so we've been captured. We don't have anything. We don't even have our cigarettes, which is depressing. But uh, when Big Boss says check the wall, this is kind of crazy, and maybe nobody would even think of this. But basically, you got to punch the wall, and it makes a boop noise. And then like when it makes like a brew noise, then the, the wall is actually hollow. I mean, it's a cool idea, but it's like totally impossible to figure that out. He goes, woo, woo. Yeah, burn, burn, burn. But the problem is, don't you need like C4 to blow it up? Burn, burn, burn. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so I guess that other thing was just a hint to to tell you to like punch the wall. Oh snap! You made it, rookie. I'm Gray Fox. Metal Gear is the ultimate weapon. An all-terrain nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. When it's finished, a nuclear strike can be launched from anywhere on the planet. We must do everything we can to destroy it before it's completed. There's only one way to destroy Metal Gear. And the only person that knows how to do that is Metal Gear's developer, Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar. And he is being held prisoner somewhere inside this building. Find Dr. Madnar. Okay, thank you, Gray Fox. Well, I will have to uh, conclude this episode here in the next episode, of course. I'm going to look for Dr. Petrovich Madnar the scientist behind the nuclear equipped nuclear cannot say that word apparently equipped uh tank metal gear see you in the next one